Hey you guys, how's it doing? Welcome back to Team Assassination. This is your boy Assassin Dave, and welcome to another episode of Rotate Like a God, featuring the mid lane with Kagura. Just for the thrill of it, nothing kind of it with you. Just the thrill of it. Just for the thrill of it, nothing kind of it. With Before we get into the main content of today's video. First thing that you need to know about mid lane rotation fundamental is it's situational. Sometimes you will have enemy who try to invade your jungle, sometimes you will have fairly peaceful opening, and sometimes not only can you take your own jungle, you can also invade the enemy jungle as well. And it all comes down to what your picks are against your enemies. Now speaking of Kagura, she's not the best at level 1. Kagura's wave clear is not the best, and she lacks continuous damage like Lilia or burst damage like Selena. But Kagura's level 4 is extremely strong in ganks and helping out side laners. So your main objective pre-level 4 is simple and clear. Get to level 4. How to get level 4? From my experience, if you are able to clear the entire first 2 waves, take 1 regen crap, take blue buff, take a 1 more small minion next to mid, you should be level 4 pre 1 minute and 30 seconds. Once you reach level 4, you can either choose to gank bottom lane and help secure the tier 1 tower down the bottom side, or rotate to top and help defend the top lane tower. In the marksman meta, where the better farmed marksman team wins, the more steady strategy is usually to rotate to the bottom side and help secure the bottom tower so your marksman and you can rotate together to the other side of the map. But sometimes, you should just go with the dynamics of your trio. Let's say you're playing with a good fighter player. You can just rotate to the top lane and help gank enemy marksmen and getting your fighter farm. Or let's assume if you're playing with a good marksman player, then go gank bottom lane. Hyper farm him or her until you win the game. With these pointers in mind, let's quickly walk into a Mythical Glory ranked gameplay and demonstrate it live. Alright guys, welcome back to the gameplay portion. We already see people coming into our jungle right here, like dumbasses. Um, so let's go ahead and poke them out. Alright, let's take mid and go invade our jungle. We're not, so basically we saw three people walking in our jungle, right? Now they have Lilia, which which uh, posed the question is, should we actually contest? Because they have three people, we have two. Uh, help, 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 just attack, attack real fast, attack real fast. Yeah, because they're coming right here right now. Uh, don't get hooked. Just help me, help me do it, help me, help me do it. Dude, let me do it, got it. All right, there we go. Because uh, they, they invaded our blue, and then once they invade our blue, what you want to do is, instead of fighting them, because they have like too many people, don't, right? Don't do it. So, don't fight them, basically. Because it, it's 1-3-1. One, one. Nice hooks. I know Franco was in there, but I'm not really afraid of him because I'm Kag. I can just dash away. Avisu, you probably have to... Avisu died because he fought uh, Lilia, uh, level 1. Which is just unnecessary. Uh, yeah, they're doing 1-3-1 one, one right now. Uh, a very clumsy strategy, right? But... You still have 3 people that you gotta pay attention to. And then, yeah, still 3 people mid. Just gonna you can go ahead and ignore them. <laughs> Clean this wave real fast. It's fine. Yeah. Okay. Let's go ahead and slow him down. Alright. Let's stun him. So save our save our um you know save our tank. Otherwise he's gonna die over there. So <clears throat> I have to stun him up. Right. There we go. This guy missed everything. They still have three mid. Um. Yeah. Yeah, let me go ahead and just use my ultimate. Poke him out. Don't get hooked. There we go. Because our team is coming, right? When your team is coming, this game will cannot rotate. Because when the people, when enemy team uh, try to run like stupid strategy, like one through one and cut of stuff, you you kind of have to just ult it away. You kind of have to let them like let them go, right? You, like you probably give up rotation because your silence don't need didn't really need help. They are doing like. Three people mid, so that means their silent have no pressure. Our silence usually win by default, um, or at least that's how it works. The so top lane is a quad going against, um, you know, going against. Yeah, they're going to our blue again. Come, come, come. Yeah, we're not, we're not, we're not, we're not getting there. So, you know, I mean, we're not gonna contest them whatsoever. When any are carried to help. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. They're gonna constantly invade our, our buffs and stuff. Nice. Ah. I got stunned. I got stunned where I cannot move. So, they still play, they still invade quite a bit, um, this game. Because of Lilia. Yeah. 
Okay. The jump away. All right, this guy flickered all me. Let's get a. Ah, cannot move. There are way too much CCs, and then they keep on invading like this, right? Our jaw had never rotated, so which makes this game really hard. Um, he's just farming top, right? <laughs> and this five minute mid um, with a lot of early game heroes, AK Lilia, um, twenty one hundred gold to fifteen. That's fine. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Early game, we don't we don't have the best early game, right? Also, Grok fed the first blood, and then we delayed the farm on their blue. Um, X4 got their blue buff, which is fine. Let's just defend an X blue buff from them. Let's see if Jawhead want to help this time. Okay. Their blue buff, the turtles taken fairly low. X4 is here again. You have a, you have a Lolita stunning people right here. Nice. Are you are you just? Are you kidding me? They constantly, they constantly try to get to me. It was actually crazy how much effort they put on to kill me. Um, this Claude, nice. Just killed himself. Claude has vengeance actually. Let's see if I can find a Frank over there. Now with this uh, turtle, a uh, steal that from our team, we can actually open up to do other stuff right now. Lilia doesn't have O anymore, so. Let's see if this guy comes in. I have my ult in 11 seconds, and then if he comes in, we'll just kill him. So let's go ahead and take our blue buff. Yeah. <laughs> it depends, right? When you team fights, it really based on if they just run three people mid, and you have your silent doesn't really rotate. In that case, your mid lane is gonna be. Um, as long as we can defend our tower, we're good to go. We can't really rotate to the silent that much because we are gonna be defensive on our wave clear. Um, which put us behind, so... But now, there's nothing going on. We can actually rotate here. Bottom lane. They're going on our carry again. Let's see if this guy... Nice hook. Good job. Okay, let's see if Lolita wanna do something here. Yeah, gonna pull him back. Yeah. We rotate the bottom to help our, mar uh, help our marksman, guys. Stun. Push. Back. Um... <laughs> This guy didn't expect my damage, right? Or carries damage of that matter. Top lane gonna be defended. This guy doesn't have a shield. I'm a. Uh, he doesn't even. He doesn't even burn his shield. He has. He has. He ultimately did no damage basically. Uh, let's go back to mid real quick to defend our tower. Claw tried to push, but unfortunately it's a little bit too late. He had ten stacks on it. Let's see. Yeah, Jaw has making his way over here, so you can't defend it. Okay, nice dash. Um, let's go ahead and take this uh, health thing, right? Get ready for turtle coming up. This way, uh, Grok can heal. Okay. okay. Standing ready. Do some damage to them. Nice dash. Okay. Just farm our jungle. Farm everything available. Okay. There we go. Got it. I see a Lolita. Uh, we have some really good opponents. So, but they're running. And like I said, they're running one through one uh, strategy, which is personally I despise uh, for exact. You know the same reason, so okay. So we're gonna try to ult. We have Grok. Try to use a second skill to cancel Lolita's ultimate. He comes in here. Uh, got it. All right, there we go. Now our bottom lane is left undefended. We want to go bottom, but it seems a little bit uh, hard. Let's see where Lilia is. Okay, Xbox on the right side. Nice. So ultimate get canceled again. Nice, he's dead. Okay, nice. Jump to my umbrella to dodge. Oh. Use my ult right here to save carry. Brock instantly died. Uh, sorry, the other K instantly died. We kill Lolita too. Uh, gonna jump in. Yeah, we'll use our blue umbrella to kill this Loli. And even though bottom tower fall, this guy, Lilia, didn't have ult anymore, so it's good. Let's go ahead and push this wave. We can take mid tower. Yeah. He cannot defend this, unfortunately. Right, we have three people here. If he jumps in, Kaja hook him, he's dead. Let's go ahead and take our blue buff real quick. So, we are back on the farm leaderboard, right? You know, even though the early game was not the best, uh, because they invaded us quite a bit. Uh, but, <clears throat> again, I'm Kagura, so I can get to their backline pretty easily. I can poke really easily with my co with my umbrella. So, Kangra has always, has always never left the meta, really. It just, Kangra is missing wave clear, um, and then luckily we have Grok to compensate for the lack of wave clear in this game. Top lane tower is gonna fall, I think. I don't think they're gonna defend it successfully. Yeah. 
Alright, we got Claw. Okay, let's see if the Lolita want to do something crazy here. I have my ultimate to cancel Lolita's all if you decided to go do something crazy. Right. Put an Umbrella in there to make sure. Bottom lane, the wave is pushed all the way to tier 2 tower. And then Franco tried to stop the push, but it's a little bit unlikely. I have an Axborg down mid lane. Let's see what Axborg decided to do here. Top lane, left hand defended, Jawha's up, so he will get it. Here we go. Yeah. Look, look how much damage I can do to this one, one umbrella now, right? This is exactly what we want to do uh, at this point of the game. So let's keep on keep on poking this guy. But you don't want to jump in. You don't want to commit, basically. Um, you just want to poke them. Yeah. While our, while our team getting the turtle. Exactly. So right now there's nothing going on. Just farm our jungle real fast. This is basically the rotation, right? Just farm your jungle. That's all you do. You want to get lead really, really fast uh, to get your Holy Crystal, to get uh, Winter Tranche next, to go against Claude, because if Claude come in um, and ult you, you have, you have some kind of defense mechanism, especially after Kakwa used everything. And if the Claude find a good engage, um, okay. Alright, easy kill. Got Claude. I can't stop this guy. I can't stop this guy, unfortunately. Yeah. This Lydia want, wants me. Does she still have ultimate? It seems like she does not. Okay, Honda got a kill onto Brock, onto X work. Nice. Um, right. They're doing their blue buff. Let's see. Ah, uh, missed by a little bit. I could have like gone a little bit a little bit faster. It's fine. Sell so this guy. Okay. Let's get our blue then. Got blue real quick so we can use our ult. And obviously we're also using execution line to get buffs a lot faster. You can see like I use my umbrella along with my retribution to make sure I get all the buff really fast. Kagwa is missing, uh, his farming skill is not the best, right? Like I said, he's she's missing wave clear, she's missing um, like early game. But her mid game re is really strong, you know? So he just, oh I just bait out his ultimate. Lilia has no all anymore. That means if, if this guy land a hook, uh, and also Kara can check bush is really good. Right? You can see what I'm doing right here. I'm just constantly checking bush. Okay. Oh, uh, Jawhan just walked up. We have ultimate right here. Uh, again, so let's go ahead and poke them out. Okay, Claw. Claw just nice. Okay. Let's use our all right here, do some damage to the back. Nice, our team got a double kill. Lolita triple kill. And then he's gonna go for a maniac, I think. He got it. Alright, Claw got away. Um, but not their team, right? Their entire team is dead. Let's go ahead and get tier 2 tower and then go for Lord. Let me find Claw. Not here. Alright, I got my core item now. Let's build this. Um, and then help our carry with this objective on board. Rotation to objective. Okay, Jawhide just killed himself. Um, this guy have 10 stacks. There's no way we can chase him. Their blue buff is coming up though, which I think their entire team is going to be there ready. So, no need to rush anything. Yeah, leave, 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 leave. That might be too risky. Their entire team is up. Our carry has 10,000 gold. It, as long as he didn't die, we're good to go. Right, let's heal up from our jungle monsters, get our blue buff, get ready for the Lord push. Um, there's no way, there's no need to engage the blue buff at this point of the game. Yeah. Alright, got it. Alright, so now now we're going to protect the Lord to push his high ground tower here. We only have one way of pushing him, which is not the best. Ooh. The Great Wall of Abyssu. Claude in the back. The vengeance didn't help him. It was, my ultimate just killed him instantaneously. And then, um, okay, the vengeance, it's a vengeance claw. He tried to go in and try to life steal and stay alive. It's a, it's a good. I mean, I, I see what he's, I see what he's trying to do, but you know, it didn't work, right? Okay, stun you up. Stun up again. And get pulled, and I have my ultimate. So. There we go. Got a tower. Nice. Uh, I want to kill this Franco. This Franco has no idea he's in trouble. So, 
Let's link them up. Oh, I'm actually getting tower damage. Nice. Tower died in time. And Franco, you're dead. Bye bye. Claude has no stack right now, so he, he's probably not going to jump in yet. No way for him. He tried to clear a wave. That's all he wanted to do. A uh, good thinking process, really, because. I mean, at this point of the game, you have to, you have to hit a clear wave, right? I use my Winter Tornado to dodge the x Borg ultimate and stay alive. Uh, meanwhile, our carry is in the back, killing everybody. So, let's see if I can slow him down. Nope. Ooh, survived one, one HP. Probably gonna die now, though. Bye-bye. Uh, was Kara being dead? We have a wave here. Let's try to push this. Okay. Let's try to push this. It's, you know, just two of us. Uh, there's another wave coming. Yeah, that's game. Bye bye. <laughs> uh, TWP guys. So this game is interesting because we try to rotate the regular rotation, but the enemy team don't run a uh, one through one strategy. They have three people mid. Uh, in fact, starting off the game, I think was more than three people, right? So it was it was crazy. But instead of panicking, be like, oh, they're invading my blue. Uh, if you know you have a Grok, well, all you have to do is clear wave real fast because they missed the wave clear, and that's why we're able to invade counter invade enemy blue buff. And then, um, so we don't lose the early game. So we're able to get level 4 real fast and then maintain on an even footing with the enemy. Well, especially when they invade your blue, guys. Just relax, you know, analyze whether you have the ability to clear enemy blue or not. Especially when you play Selena uh, or Kagura or, you know, or Grok. If you have mid lane, has some really strong tank like Grok or Hilo. So you can take buffs really fast with their help. So just go counter invade, right? Instead of fighting them, 2 versus 3 is a, you know, lost cause. Especially against Lydia. He's just gonna give up, give up first blood even. So. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it. Ho hopefully it's helpful. Make sure to drop a like, subscribe, turn notifications bell on, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Rotate Like a God. Ascendative signing off. Bye now. Just for the thrill of it.